This is Al Jazeera. Hello there, I'm Hala Mohyadeen with the Al Jazeera News Hour coming to you live from Doha. Coming up for you in the next 60 minutes, the US sends more troops to secure the evacuation at Kabul airport. Afghans desperate to flee, crowded the airport terminal and runway as military aircraft took off and landed. You can even see there some of them clinging desperately to the sides of that American aircraft as it took off. We have correspondents in all the affected regions from Baghdad to Seoul. But first, let's start with Adrian Brown. He is in Hong Kong for us. Adrian, China is throwing everything they can at this outbreak. Are there any signs that it's starting to come under control? Well, we begin with breaking news. Prince Philip, the husband of reigning British monarch Queen Elizabeth II, has died. He was 99 years old. We're just going to bring you these uh, live and exclusive uh, pictures here. A fairly stunning turnaround of events in Kabul. Uh, you started the day... Uh, certainly with the, the news that the Taliban fighters were, were surrounding the city. Now they're inside the presidential palace. We're going to keep uh, our eyes closely trained on this. There we are, another strike on that tower. And the tower has come down. That is the Al Jala Tower. That tower is where Al Jazeera's offices are warehoused. The Associated Press offices were also housed in that building. Whenever you see journalists doing live updates from Gaza, they're usually standing on the roof of that building, which has now been flattened in an airstrike by the Israeli military. Well, the virus has been an unprecedented test for politicians around the globe. Jeremy Corbyn is the outgoing British Labour Party leader and the leader of the opposition. He joins me now from London uh, via Skype. Good to have you with us on the news hour, Mr Corbyn. Uh, just first of all, how would you rate the British government's response to this crisis? Well, what resources do you think the government has not been mobilising then? It sounds like you think they've been deliberately dragging their feet. What would you yeah. have done differently? Hello there, welcome to the programme. I'm Hala Mahyadeen. Right, if I could interject here, because... Yeah, well, but, the, but this... Because this, 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 this act has already happened. Soleimani is a foreigner in, in Iraq. Well, he's, he, he's uh, nothing foreigner. anymore because he is now dead. Let's see, Soleimani is now dead. Well, Funerals are underway. And then it's and time to look ahead. It's time to look martyrs ahead to the next step. Hello, I'm Hala Mahyadeen, and this is Counting the Cost on Al Jazeera, your look at the world of business and economics. Let, let's talk about your plans for the WTO. What are you hoping to do in terms of reforming this organisation? Because there have been criticisms that it, it's not been able to get as much done as people would like. I'm Hala Mahyadeen from the whole Counting the Cost team. Thank you for joining us. The news on Al Jazeera is next. 